What's up guys, Ken here with the Shot Mini RC. And today at BTC, we are at Deluxe Fabs, and we're gonna talk to Matt Beast about the UTB 18 stuff that they're making, and it is super exciting. So let's check it out. <laughs> Hey y'all, how you doing? Matt Bees from Deluxe Fab. Just want to talk about the UTB 18. So this truck came out, it's breathing new life into the uh, WRCCA Mini class. So y'all seeing the, the Mini Capras, got the big cage and all that on. What we did, we took it and we're taking it as far as we can. So we got, we got our own chassis, it's bolt-on chassis. We got our own shocks, turn it over, we got our own skid. The skid rotates the transmission I mean, I don't see that in the picture, but the skid rotates the transmission over so the motor's lower. You get your center of gravity even down lower. So now we got full titanium links here. We can make them longer, shorter. You want custom stuff? Reach out to us. We can make that. We have adapters to put our cut the link drive shafts on them. So you can run big boy drive shafts so they don't break. You know, so you can have big boy drive shafts and they don't break and fall off. That's awesome. So we have. Our brass knuckles came out, and the brass knuckles, which we have some over there, we'll check out in a minute, they allow the use of our larger universal shafts. The ones from Axial, not that stout, they're kind of made of glass. So we made a new, a new knuckle with a larger bearing to hold a newer shaft, bigger, stronger shaft. So that's nice. We also uh, we took our 80 millimeter shocks, reconfigured them with shorter rod ends and offset caps. You can get those in any color configuration you want. And they're about a 70 millimeter shock. But you have all the dampening of a full size shock, but in a short package. Have you considered doing a true reservoir with a plunger and spring? Well, for crawlers, we have we didn't have to not be really necessary for uh, in the crawler application because you're going slow. In a high speed application where you're moving a bunch of fluid and there's a bunch of heat, you need that. But in a crawler application, we found it it's just extra that, weight you that really makes, don't that need. Makes, that makes sense. Um, and this one, we're using a Holmes Hobbies, the 380 Holmes Hobbies Outrunner motor. These motors are strong, torquey, and they're super reasonably priced. For ESC, we're using a Holmes Hobbies suppressor. So that's our proprietary ESC. So if you don't like the wine of the, um, the revolvers, the Outrunner motors, you don't like that wine, this makes that quiet. You don't have that. It's got a built-in BEC or are we running an external BEC? We're, um, we're running direct power servo. A direct power servo. All direct right, nice. power servo. Nice. So there's no need for a BEC. We're also running, these are our, these are our wheels. These are high clearance one nine wheels. We'll put it down so it looks cool. These are high clearance one nine wheels. Hot bodies, 1.9 rovers and the red compound. That was a great tire. This tire seems to be the perfect height for a mini for a competition. I love it. Are, are these are high clearance wheels too, so they have a lot of room inside. They're actually a true beadlock. They've got a lot of room because it looks like there's something in there. <laughs> yeah, we have weight hangers for the front and rear. That's awesome. So you got tungsten slugs, tungsten carbide. So they're the heaviest in the smallest amount of space because this tungsten tungsten is the densest material you can get, right? So we got them front and back for the weight hangers, depending on what you want. And then uh, let's see what else we got here. What? Internals, hardened steel internals. Oh yeah, so we got so in this truck we're using the uh, Team Garage Hack makes the hard makes makes steel gears for the UTB nice. train. They're and, actually local to us. Yeah, so they make those gears and we're using them. Nice, because they're already making them. Just let them do it, right? We also have made uh we have underdrive rear portal gears here. They're hardened steel chromoly gears. They're pretty stout. You're not going to hurt them. We got our own link riser here, so you get more anti squat than it, you will originally allow via your stock geometry. All these parts are direct bolt-ons to your UTB-18 Mini Capra. I really like how it's a two-part chassis. You get this dialing there. Yeah, because it makes it super, super. Yeah, so for the class rules, sick. you got to have a certain amount of width. Oh, and it's that at the back. That's smart. So then you're narrow at the front. So if you're coming around, like, say, a rock or something, it pivots right around, and then it comes right out of it. Mm, smart. Good so, design. Smart design. Yep. Then the bat we've got this battery tray. Mouse on the back of the servo, so you can put your, you know, whatever lipo your flavor is. Gotcha. Rubber bands, or you can use a Velcro strap, whatever you want. Put it right there. Put your battery right there. Get that weight on that front axle. Our, our knuckles, we have available the brass and aluminum versions now, depending how much weight you want to run. And these guys come with axle shafts. 
Yes. And you mentioned stub axles as well, huh? Yeah, we do have upgraded larger stub axles too. So right out here, the stub shaft axle, that's the one that holds the wheel to the actual portal box. Yep. If a truck takes a tumble, it takes a hit, it takes a fall, all of that stress is on that stub shaft. So the stronger you make that, you avoid that. You, one, you don't snap to clean off. Two, you avoid that dreaded bent stub shaft wheel wobble that everyone hates. Like, why is my truck wobbling? Blah, blah, blah. That's why. Makes sense. Um, and yeah, then we, and I mean, then we, that, that's an awesome, awesome looking setup. I think uh, what's really cool about it is you can take any one of these parts and throw it on your box stock UTB 18 just as a starting point. You don't have to buy the whole chassis or the knuckles or the shock. You can just get the knuckles or just get the shocks. That is what's that is awesome. Yes, you can want piece by piece build the truck up to what you want it to be. If you like that stock cage and that look, keep it. But you want to make it perform, you're going to want underdrive gears. You're going to want stronger drive shafts. You're going to want stronger axle shafts. We got you covered. If you want to go whole hog and go all out, by all means, we're happy for you. Do it. Awesome. But if you want to piece together one by one, Take your time on your budget. Don't make mama mad. We got you covered. Nice, nice. And just so people know, they don't just do the UTB 18. I mean, that's that's one thing, but they do a ton of 10 scale stuff. Now, what are you doing in this video? But I'll show you some of it, and you can do a quick, quick walkthrough of what we got from uh, Deluxe Fabs on the 10 scale stuff and some of the other high end competition crawler style rigs. All right, so just a quick overview of what other trucks we got. Right here, we got our new. This is our new team spec truck. This is the Nessie. Top to bottom, this is designed as it's a scale chassis, class one or, or sorry, class two or class three. And it's top to bottom, all deluxe fab parts. Gears, lockers, shafts, shocks, everything but the electronics, all deluxe fab. Right here, we have our mercenary chassis. This is our WRCCA Pro Class truck, 2-2 Pro. So that's an MOA. Motor on each axle, independently controlled front to back. Dig, burn, all the, all the fixes. This is our Asylum uh, Sporty. This is used as capper axles. You got capper axles laying around your board with the truck. You want to make a capable sportsman class truck. There you go. This is another Nessie. This is uh, built as a class three option. So you got front and rear steer. Once again, these are coming to the website here pretty soon. You can option out exactly what you want. You want whatever combo on your knuckles, stub shafts, transmission, all of that. We can option it out for you. Anything from a bare chassis to a RTR truck coming soon here we got capper axles you know how hard it is to go but if you, you just want axles for your truck build you want to buy a capper kit throw half of it away or try to sell it <clears throat> now with deluxe fab you can come to our website build exactly the capper axles you want with all the options you want all from one place get exactly what you want the first time over here we got some you know holmes hobby stuff of course because they're holmes yeah, get some revolvers and servos. You know, everyone loves Holmes Hobbies. Here we got our, these are our SS Deluxe axles. This is AR60 width, brass knuckles. If you're going to take a shafty axle, a straight, a straight, a straight axle shafty axle, do the absolute maximum you can, this is it right here. We have two widths. You got wide for class three or like a sportsman truck. We got a narrower one for your class two style rigs. And that's all deluxe. Even the center section on that was all deluxed out. Eight millimeter stub shafts, super strong. You're not going to hurt it. <coughs> got the rears, good stuff. Got transmission, got the cheeseburger. You can look that up. The tiniest one we have, we have the portal transmission. The transmission weighs like two and a half or three ounces, if I remember wow, correctly. Wow, that's crazy. For size reference, I have big hands, but that's your portal transmission. That's all you need. And that, that can go all the way into an SCX-6? <coughs> If you wanted to, if you're not scared, if you're not scared, that's, I, that's I, crazy I would, though. That's I crazy. would put an SCX six. That's crazy. Just for testing. But purposes. even in a tenth scale, that's just tiny. It's tiny. Yes. That's amazing. So this is this is called the Nod. It's another small transmission like the Portal, but it's for straight axles. So it has a little more gear reduction inside. Titanium output shaft, hard steel chrome on the gears. You're not going to hurt it. Here's what we call the OD three. It's got twenty percent underdrive built into the rear output, so you can do one to one for the front and back. Or underdrive the rear by 20%. All right there in a tiny, small light package. You look inside, you can see the gears are all relief cut and drilled. You're not going to get it lighter or smaller than that. Now here we got some, we got link risers for most popular rigs. Got our cut the link drive shafts. If you're not familiar with those, you should be. They're skinny, they're light, they're strong. You can't beat them. Prerequisite hubs, we all got hubs. These, But these hubs have three millimeter holes. 
none of that 440 stuff that annoys you because all everything on your truck's three millimeter. Then you go to put your hub screws in and they're, they're 440. You need a different driver, you have different screws. You lose them, then you're out of luck. You don't have more 440 screws. Three millimeter holes in your hubs. And then, you know, all the shocks. We're famous for our draft tech shocks. All the colors, all the links, all the options. You all know them, you love them. We got them. And that's that pretty much covers what we got here. Actually, you know what? There is one more thing we didn't cover. A lot of y'all run a 10-2 axle. SCX, you know, XCS 10-2. It's our new servo mount. See, it gets it nice and flat down low. It's got threaded holes on both sides for your four link here and here. You can mount the servo on either side. For a low pro servo, you mount it on the bottom, a higher, a bigger, taller servo, mount it on top. Easy peasy. Gets it low, all the way down low as you can. Nice. Those just yeah, came out. That's, that's a cool, new fresh that's part. A cool mount for sure. That's pretty much covers what we have here at BTC. 2023, good times out here. You should be here if you're not. Thanks. All right, guys. So again, that's Deluxe Fab. I'll put a link down in the description below. Make sure you check it out. They got tons of cool stuff. They even have SCX24 stuff. They have the universals and some other stuff. Just, just check it out. You got to go look. They have tons of stuff. They literally, like I said, for the UTB18, can, you can build the whole thing out of their parts, like 99% of it. <laughs> so pretty amazing if you're into the UTB platform and the mini comp crawl scene. Uh, yeah, just check it out, guys. If you don't like what you've seen, too bad. If you do like what you saw, make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up, share this with all your friends in the groups. And uh, yeah, get out there, build something awesome, smash them, crash them, and bash them, but don't break the expensive parts.